So last week I shot a video about a warning on packs of playing cards because apparently a few months ago some people got into a fight in a Target over uh, Pokemon cards that they thought were valuable, right? And somebody pulled out a gun apparently. So ever since then some packs of collectible cards have had warnings on them that they cannot guarantee the value of the cards in the future. And I thought that was silly, but today I see an even sillier one. I see that in a pack of cards for the game of Valley of the Kings, which I hope to program the AI for. It says it's a choking hazard. Where was that warning? Warning. Not only do they have the symbol for it, but they even spell it out. Choking hazard, not for use by children. I thought there might have been dice or something in there. But this is all it comes with. A rule book and a deck of cards. I, I challenge anybody, well don't do it as a social media challenge, but th to think of a way to choke on stuff like that. Now, I know some people are going to respond, but there's no harm in putting the warning, right? In, in fact, I think the companies probably just get in the habit of printing that warning on just about everything under the sun just to head off any liability issues. Now, the problem with that kind of logic is that there are things that are actually choking hazards. And by putting that on everything, it makes it easy to ignore the warning when it actually matters, right? So actually, I, I, I saw something not long ago. I work at a tutoring center, and one of my clients, I think she's about six, seven years old. Uh, this was before the pandemic when people often brought food into the center, right? Which I have to be careful about because I have allergies to some foods. I got to be careful that um, they don't, I don't get it on my hands or if it's uh, really dusty foods, right? That's why I notice when people bring foods because I got to be careful about that. But she had brought this candy that uh, obviously she bought it from South uh, Korea where she's from because the candy's been banned in the United States. That was actually a choking hazard and that's why it was banned. It's uh, It comes in a gel, God I gotta put a link on there, I don't know the name of that uh, uh, candy. But it comes in a gel cup and uh, you eat it by suctioning it out of the cup. And so uh, many years ago there were some choking incidents and that's why the FDA has banned it. And so uh, I got really concerned about her, her eating it uh, because she was uh, talking and eating it. And so uh, when I, I talked to her about it and her parents and I scared the crap out of them and my boss was pretty upset that I had caused a stir about that. Uh, but then later I went to Google it and discovered that uh, there were several choking incidents and um, there was this one girl who was about the age of the, my uh, student who had been in a coma for uh, for two and a half years before finally succumbing to the, uh, the brain damage that she suffered from the candy. After I saw that I didn't feel so bad anymore but it just goes to show that stupid warnings like this aren't completely harmless, right? Obviously. The company making whatever product would love to put it on there because they avoid the liability and somebody else can suffer, right? It's in, in game theory terms, we call that tragedy of the commons, right? It's in the interest of each company to put the warning on there. It's not in the interest of society as a whole.